Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate every single one of you. So you guys already know that. So you guys, um, I am going to be continuing the rest of the guidance from above readings. Um, the ones that I have left to do is Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, okay? So we're gonna be getting that out today. Um, but with that being said, welcome to the channel. I'm your reader, Christina. You guys already know. So the way that I'm doing my readings here, and this is really more for the new people who are coming on in, who are uh, subscribing, which welcome. Okay, this is always going to be first and foremost, a safe place for all of you. Now, I'm not going to say a safe place for all of you to communicate because I don't have time to sort of like regulate the comment section. So I just don't put the comment section at all. One, because I won't be able to keep up with it um, to make sure that there's nothing going on on there inappropriately. And two, I won't be able to keep scammers off or people who try to pose as if they wanna give a, a free personal reading to you guys, okay? so. That's why the comment section is off, but I'm always letting you guys know if you want to reach out to me, you're more than welcome to. That's why I put the information in the description box. I give you guys my email. If you want to thank me for the reading, if you want to suggest a particular type of subject for a reading, um, you're more than welcome to, okay? If you just want to say hi, that's fine. If you want to vent, that's fine. Whatever it is, it's fine with me. That's why I put the uh, email on there for you guys. So here's the thing, okay? Um, for those who aren't familiar with my readings, this is how I do my readings. I do my readings recently. I've been doing it for the past few months based off of the astrological body, okay? Because we embody all of the 12 signs. So technically speaking, you could truly watch any of the readings, right? Um, what I suggest for you guys, even with you guys being on the channel and me letting you guys know you can watch any reading, um, do your birth chart, okay? Do your birth chart, all of the signs that are there, specifically your sun sign, your moon sign, your 12th house sign. Check those readings out because the 12th house is what's going on here, how you're living, right? Like actually what's going on. Um, and then you guys already know the rest. Um, me particularly, the way I like to do it, I got my own astrological chart and I only gravitate towards the signs that are in my birth chart, but you could watch all of the signs. So the order that I do the readings is Aries, Tauros, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and we end in Pisces, which is the feet, okay? So, let's jump right in, you guys. So, with this Guidance of Above reading, we're looking at five sections. Each section has a particular subject. The first section is present. The second section is love. The third section is you. Fourth section is the environment. And the fifth section is the process or the journey. So right now, this video is for Scorpio. Okay, so this is for Scorpio. Now, I also want to express to you guys, with these guidance from above readings that I'm doing, um, I know I'm going to bring them back because I really like the messages that are coming out with these angelic readings. These are all angel cards that we're using. That's all we're using. Okay. Um, with these particular readings... I have noticed there's been subjects coming up in every single reading. It's like every single reading has its own topic related to either the Bible or a Bible story or a concept. So here for Scorpio, what we're getting here is Sodom and Gomorrah, right? So now for those who don't know, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by sulfur and fire, okay? Because of their wickedness, all right? Now... It's really sad because I done fell down a rabbit hole, Scorpio. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I fell down an extremely difficult hole to get out of, okay? Because 
I come to find out that Sodom and Gomorrah, when I did a little bit of research on it, that Sodom and Gomorrah, the story, the concept of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the fact that the two angels were sort of like, uh, how do I say that? Threatened. Forgive me for saying it. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but threatened to be raped by men when they were visiting Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of that, now I want to say this, because of that, the Sodom and Gomorrah story is used to say that same-sex is not okay. Same-sex marriage is not okay. Same-sex partnership is not okay. Now, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like our creator, I'm going to try to use the word creator. When it comes to these particular cards, I can't because it's always, it's G-O-D, okay? The big man. Um, but I do try to say creator. When I say creator, that's who I'm referring to. When I say universe, that's who I'm referring to too as well. And along with the archangels, guardian angels, you know, anything divine, okay? Um, so when we're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah, it's like I read certain particular articles where Sodom and Gomorrah is used as sort of like an indicator that same sex is not okay now i will tell you this guys you use your own discernment okay make sure you use your own discernment make sure that you know like yes you go into religions but do your research on the religion you know make sure that everything that that religion stands for is okay with you and embodies who you are comfortable with being with right so with scorpio getting sodom and gomorrah here and and that vibe of being destroyed by sulfur and fire sulfur and fire do you guys ever notice when there's fires like everything comes back regenerated it's like a rebirth right so now here's the thing scorpio the subject of sodom and gomorrah with Scorpio, it's kind of like the message, the channeled message that I got, which is looking back causes catastrophic consequences. What I'm getting there, because remember you guys, yes, we follow the Bible, we respect the Bible, we should understand the Bible, we should do our research, take notes, uh, whatever it is you do, right? Um, I feel like Sodom and Gomorrah is... A great story to look at because when you're a Scorpio because I am a Scorpio when you are a Scorpio you cannot look at what you experienced in the past because it causes catastrophic consequences now that I'm really really going into this as like okay the they turned into stone right they turned into stone so I feel like Sodom and Gomorrah coming out for Scorpio, it's kind of like if you keep looking back into the past, who betrayed you, who took advantage of you, who broke your heart, um, you know, it could turn your heart into stone. It could make you cold. Okay, so let's go right into it, Scorpio. I'm sorry, that's eight minutes of rambling about this subject with Sodom and Gomorrah. And I'm, I don't even know how long this video is going to be because it's like... Spirit is like, girl, people need to understand particular stories and situations and journeys, chapters that are in there. Don't take it in a literal sense. I think it should be in a more symbolic sense. Like, what does this symbolize to you? What does that story symbolize to you? What are we getting? So we're getting here nine of wands you check that out you're seeing magic happen right now what did i say before this card fell out what does that story symbolize to you the nine of wands is an energy of resistance of persevering of the last chance of being tired but you know you're close to success you know you're going to overcome it you know you're going to make it through nine of wands Okay, it says God, the impeccable secret, universe, medicine, elevation of the soul and the revelation of secrets. So I might even be, who knows, for some of you, I might even be revealing 
how you can truly enjoy a biblical book or a biblical story or a concept and not take it in a literal sense. This is a mystery card. This is about hanging there. Okay. All right. So let's go into the present section. What do we need to know for Scorpio for the present? Three of Wands. Okay. God, the hope of the God of hope. Number three. Construction of the universe, help with great works, protection from adversaries. Construction of the universe. So maybe Scorpio, you're needing to understand as you're moving forward, as you're going along in this journey, you should move forward in a way where once you're beginning to move forward, forget about the past or don't bring the past into your future or don't bring that ego and that energy like when you're constructing when you're moving forward you're constructing okay the three of wands is also the energy of having a foresight of growing of beginning to move forward this is a leadership card this is about taking the lead if you don't see things are changing scorpio you make that change that's that's how that's how it's coming in here okay what do we need to know for the next section for Scorpio, this is the love. Mm. Two of Pentacles. Number 56, which goes to 11, which I bring that down to two, and that's a number of balance. God who supports the universe, fortune and fame fulfills any request. You know, this this individual bowing down. Now, I'm not going to say who the message is coming from when I'm seeing this uh, angel bow down, sort of like on bended knee. But I did watch someone speaking of, and it's not a reader, it's a well-known um, sort of like spiritual teacher. And they were saying, and I quote, bring it to him anything and everything bring it to him just leave it there and say you know i don't know what to do can you guide me can you influence me can you give me some sort of situation sit on it right sit on it two of pentacles is trying to find a balance making yourself like adapt they say be like water. So as you're moving forward, adapt and balance and be like water, Scorpio. Because this is really going to help you move forward. All right, so now the next section is the you section. What do we need to know for Scorpio? That one wanted to pop out, but jump back in. Six of Cups. God who stirs all men, number 45. Motivation. Lift up those who are fallen and humiliated. This is a healing energy. This is also about, I'm not going to say forgive, but what I'm going to say is, Allow people to act accordingly, Scorpio. And don't force anything. Because if this person truly wants to heal a situation, right? Let's say if it's if it has to do with love. And this person wants to heal a situation with you, Scorpio. Allow them to do whatever it is they're going to do. Of course, if you're already done with the person, you're not going to allow them to do that. But I'm talking in a sense of like, if the person, if the person has done something, allow them to heal the situation. Because there's healing here. There's comfort here. I think it doesn't take a lot from you, Scorpio, to make you happy. 
Okay, what do we need to know? All right, now we're going in and the cards are, we're probably gonna get a few of these. What do we need to know for the environment? What do we need to know for the end? I feel like at one point, Scorpio, you probably did feel, wow, like somebody humiliated you. Now in the environment, we're getting the Two of Cups, number 18, no, 19. And that is the Swiftening Hearkening God. Fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. And then we're getting the star. Number 32 goes to five, which is a number of change. Number 19 goes to a number of 10. Completion. And we could even take the 10 and bring it down to a one. We could do a one or a zero. Zero is supposed to be the best number because zero can be anything right? So it has a lot of potential. One is also good too, because it's also the first of something. And you can make that into anything. Star is the energy of healing. This is 32. God, the just clemency and equilibrium protects against attacks in the court. So it, within the environment, or maybe the environment is okay maybe someone is feeling like i know there's a way i can heal this situation i know there's a way i can like just bring this into fruition i'm close but i need to heal something first before i even get closer okay scorpio you're also going to feel too um, Scorpio and anybody else who's watching this Scorpio reading, if you're cross watching, I already explained that to you guys. That's fine. You're also going to feel like the environment around you, Scorpio, is going to be bringing you into a better understanding about your emotions. And I'm only saying that because water is emotions. Okay. And it is the lesson of peace. Okay. And this is why a lot of people say, when you tell someone, oh, I'm a Scorpio, it's happened to me, right? It's happened to me where I've told, oh, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Oh, you're crazy. But they don't understand. It's not that a Scorpio is crazy. It's just that a Scorpio does not like to become unaligned or feel unaligned. We don't do right with that. We don't do right with individuals who talk to multiple people and tell you you're the only one, right? But then they turn around and they're talking. If anybody is around us and they're withholding information that we should know, we don't sit right with that because we are intuitive. We are intuitive. It's not that a Scorpio is mean. Is that a Scorpio prefers not to put up with anything and if you can't keep it 100 with a scorpio then you are going to have a problem especially if you're making them feel like they're the only one okay so the next section this is the process or the journey for scorpio what do we need to know about the process or journey for scorpio there he goes again i knew he was going to come out you know what so here you're getting, I call him the baby. Mm -hmm. He is the eight of swords, number 14, which goes for me to five, which is a number of change. This is God, protector, and the savior. They don't rip someone's head off. Truth and justice, protection from enemies who will steal one's fortune. I said this in another reading, and I'm going to say it here too, because we're like that. Scorpio, what is your fortune? I'm going to wait. I want you to have a moment and I want you to think, what is your fortune? Your fortune, Scorpio, is your energy. That is your fortune. That is your wealth. So now when you are on a lower vibrational energy or in your shadow self, that's why you're going to feel poor. You're going to feel whatever, poverty stricken, right? But when you're vibrating on a higher frequency and you're vibrating on a frequency that is like, um, I'm not controlling, I'm not jealous, I'm not toxic, 
I'm not bothering or whatever it is. It's because of this. Because the truth is there. The truth and justice of the situation is there. And I feel like along in your journey, you don't need to worry about what's going on because we've got this guy here from downstairs. Now, I know when he's coming up because he's it's toxic. I know when he's coming up because it's narcissistic or self-sabotage or just a complete block. I know when he's coming up in a negative way. He's not coming up in a negative way here. It's almost as if God, mind you, it's almost as if God has sent him to go block. We're going to talk about it. We're going to address the elephant in the room right now with that. Because him being here is the devil. Samael. Number. He doesn't even have a number. The severity of God. Seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead. Teaches the occult and magic. This is a blockage card. Okay. So I think Scorpio, every time you've had a situation or an encounter with someone, and instead of them going all the way with you or giving you all the knowledge that you need, or just going head on with you and letting you know, Hey, I truly am into you. I think you're a wonderful person. Can we take it to the next step? Can we take it there? understand this god is always going to protect you scorpio okay god is always going to protect you but the minute because remember the all-knowing individual here is god okay and the minute that god senses oh you don't have good intentions for scorpio hey Go, go, go send my peoples over there. Go send him over there. I need you to find a chick, any chick, and then hopefully the, the individual is not that easy, but find an individual to get what we call in Spanish, meterse en los ojos, which is getting in someone's line of sight and guess what? The focus is taken off of you, Scorpio. And it's not because you're not good enough or you're not pretty enough or you're not, you know, with a with a fit body. It's because when he senses they don't have their best interest for you, Scorpio, he is going to send distractions and influences for that individual who does not have the right intentions for you he will if he has to send the devil himself to get that person to get away from you and it took me a long time especially me scorpio it took me a long long time to truly understand what was wrong with the individuals that i was trying to speak to right and why they weren't seeing me for who i truly am and, and truly saying, you know what? Like, she's beautiful on the outside. She's beautiful on the inside. Let me give it a go, right? And it took me a while to understand that when these individuals were making their choice to either go somewhere else or pay attention um, to another individual, right? It wasn't because of me. It was because God himself knew the true intent in their heart, okay? And he needed to pull them away from me. He needed to distract them. He he needed to put another female or another female or whatever it is. Oh, look, but why talk to her when you can have five to talk to? You know what I mean? So if you've ever been put in a predicament as many times as I have where you, you're really talking to someone, you're really feeling them, you're really feeling like, wow, I like this person, I think this person is amazing, and then boom, all of a sudden, either they ghost you or they choose to be in a relationship with someone else, understand this, 
It's not happening because of you. It's happening for you because the divine knows their true intentions. And you're not going to understand this until you're truly awake and you're truly in tune. And I'm going to tell you this. It took me a little bit to really understand, you know, he's going to put in place for me the person that has the right intentions. And they're not going to be blocked. They're not going to make excuses. They're not going to be distracted or influenced by other people. And this is where sometimes uh, we have a hard time understanding the mysteries of it all. Because if we can start looking, for example, at all of the stories that we're getting from the, like my daughter calls it, the Bibble, right? Um, guess what? Use it metaphorically. There are lessons in there that can really guide you tremendously, okay? Um, so yeah, this right here is letting me know God, if God sees they're not good, he's going to send him, he's going to send him to distract them. Now, before I go into these um, Archangel power cards, I want to tell you, Scorpio, what your Archangel is. Your Archangel is Archangel Jeremel. Listen to this. Archangel Jeremel helps making assignments about changing circumstances, seeking inspiration, to successfully make amazing changes in your life, Scorpio. You know what his name is? Mercy of God. Helps with reviewing life to create a better life plan or dealing with the fears of death. Now, if you have a fear of death, you shouldn't. Death is a rebirth, okay? So now, now that we know who our archangel is, I can't take those, but we are getting ace of ariel it's your lucky day new resources of money time and support change in the job and or promotion we're getting perspective archangel chimwell number 12 um that is the hangman there's a better way pause for reflection insight dare to be different seven of raphael is coming in with time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification. And look at who's here. Bottom of the deck. Leap of faith. Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself and listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. That's funny. That's a lassie dog. What was the name of that movie? There was this movie when I was a kid. And I think it was Lassie. And it was like one of the Lassie movies. Am I saying the name right? He traveled or he got lost or something to that nature and um, they moved and he ended up being able to find his way home. Your person will always find their way to you, whoever it is. Okay, Scorpio. So let's see here. What do we need to know? What is your, what is it? What is your strength or weakness here from these Archangel cards? For Scorpio, three of wands for the present time. Oh, there we go. I love it. This is your strength, course, Scorpio. Queen of Michael. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time of your career rather than relationships. So this is a beginning. This is a new beginning for you, Scorpio, that you are going to be going into. I don't care if it's a new job, new place, new environment, a uh, new person. It can even go as a new point of view, a new perspective. Look, right now, a new way of thinking about certain things, right? So this is very interesting. I love it. Because it's like you're going to be in your creative way. And yellow roses, I was always told yellow roses signify peace. So there is going to be peace coming in for you. What do we need to know? Advice or weakness for the two of pentacles. The uh, love. Oh, you got two. All right. So we're getting five of Michael. 
The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. <sighs> right. There must be something going on where you're probably feeling like this is something that needs to change. Five of Michael is the five of swords, you guys. There's probably tension or disputes or some type of stress that you're feeling, but you're getting this leap of fate card here with Archangel Metatron coming in again with the dog. So it's kind of like if someone in the past, I'm telling you, if someone in the past is going to be returning or has already returned and you probably felt either humiliated by this person or disrespected or you just felt like no i can't go there with this person it's it's like if they made their way back i'm just gonna say it like that it's like if they made their way back what do we need to know for the six of cups which is for scorpio i love it ten of Raphael. this is love and blessings fill your life Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. Work on that. Work on being happy with the family and within the home. You know, work on being happy with yourself too, Scorpio. Because this is how your blessing is going to come in. I'm telling you, your fortune is your energy. So you have to keep that in a in vibrating in a high state. Let's see, what do we need to know for the environment? Wow, sideways. Four of Ariel. When you, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes is how you have, extremes in how you save or spend money. Okay. So they want you to work on this by saving money, doing what you need to do. Eight of Ariel, this individual is reading books. Take a great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So. It's interesting. Because. Four of Ariel and eight of Ariel. It's kind of like, yes, it's going to be challenging and it's going to be difficult, whatever environment you're in, but you need to begin this somewhere. And with the eight being there and then the four, it's like you might even have to create this environment for yourself or bring this environment into fruition in order to be able to accomplish your peace. And then eventually this will heal the connection with, with um, the star card. That's an Aquarius card too, you guys. So what do we need to know for the process or the journey for Scorpio? I love it. Bottom of the deck. Now, your high number. These are, listen. And then you're getting a 10 here. 10 of Ariel. There is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. So, eventually eventually scorpio whoever whatever the situation you got going on this is all going to work out you're getting king of Raphael, warm generous honorable and refined yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passions then you're also getting ace of michael a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. I think you have cleared up some type of situation with a king of cups here, which is really good. You always want to try to fix things um, with the people that are around you or that 
you know, just make sure that there's no misunderstandings. Make sure you communicate clearly when you need to. I mean, obviously, if somebody's stressing you out for information, I listen, I don't like that. Um, if I tell you something, it's because I tell you. And forgiveness and understanding is here. So if I tell you something, it's because I want to tell you. But if you don't listen to me, and I shouldn't have to repeat myself more than once, right? You don't listen, then I, I can't help you. Okay, so this is the angel guide cards. This is possible solutions to your questions. I don't know if you're questioning. Do you have angelic protection? This popped out. Yes, you do. Okay, so what do we need to know for the present? Courage and bravery. What do we need to know for the love? Signs and reminders. Yeah. So you're going to be transforming a situation here. I don't know what that is. Light as a feather. I see a feather there. Um, you are going to be seeing things, synchronicities. You're going to be able to tell when someone is changing. So pay attention to that. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Oh, oh. Ooh. All right, Scorpio. I know I have a hard time with that. I, You know what it is? I don't like to be vulnerable without knowing for sure, like, what my position is. And I know that sounds kind of corny, but listen, you want to try to avoid as much heartache as you can, you know? All right, what do we need to know for the environment? Composure. Compose yourself. They want you to control your emotions. Look, even the sword is down on the ground. It's like, all right, I'm going to put how I feel for a minute down, my truth, my communication, right? I'm going to put my actions down. I'm prepared, but I'm going to put this down because I need to see everything all around me. Okay. And for the process or the journey. Oh, okay. Bottom of the deck. Clear, cancel, and release. I'm telling you. So... You know, with the Sodom and Gomorrah story, again, Scorpio, just make sure that you're not bringing in any, um, like, oh, from the past, this person did this to me from the past, or they treated me this type of way from the past. Maybe they've changed. Maybe they've uh, learned to understand things. Maybe you should just give it a try, right? And the minute you see it, you know. I'm backing out. Now, here for the process or the journey, you're getting that this was a learning experience. You're getting harmony and resolution. And you're also getting strength and guide. So just know, Scorpio, along whatever situation you got going on, you are being protected. And, and, and when God decides to involve this individual in that type of way, okay, um, it's not because it's something being done to you. It's, it's because there's already something that they know. There's already something that, you know, because I'm telling you, this is why he knows our heart's desires. He knows our minds because he is within us. So it's kind of like, I know what they're thinking and feeling and truly wanting to say to you before they even say it to you. So just know, and I don't know if this is clarifying a mystery here, what I'm about to say, but just know this is this person's job. Because when I allow this person to go and do their job and be an influence and be a tricker and let and tell people you're going to be manipulative and that person's not going to talk to you. You're going to be jealous and that person's going to be like, oh, no, you're going to be controlling and that person's going to move away from you. You're going to go to this location and you're going to be seduced. 
when he's getting involved in that type of way is for a reason okay what do this is the um angel answer cards and this is how they feel or what they want this is a crazy reading here scorpio but i knew scorpio was gonna be wild that's why i was like this is gonna take me a minute i have to like really really gather up my energy before i really do this these next set of readings so what do we need to know for the present for scorpio well how do you feel how do they feel okay they want you to wait there's something they want you to wait wait for what let's see if they say it let's get another one oh all right so courage and bravery is here but they're letting you know something's going to be coming in or something's going to be changing within the next few weeks so hold your space okay what do we need to know for the love section for scorpio mm, the situation will improve know that believe that what do we need to know for scorpio that there's going to be helpful people and they're saying yes okay what do we need to know about the environment for scorpio okay improving health is here i love that so you're you are going to be improving health what do we need to know for the process mm. a year from now so a year from now so I really feel like a year from now, this is a whole year process that you're going to be going into, okay? And if you're feeling down on your luck for whatever situation, they're letting you know right here there's something better. It can be with your career. It can be with anything, relationship, friendship, family, whatever. It's going to work out. There is something better that will be coming, and it's it's... It's just certain things that you don't know that are going to be mysterious at the moment. Okay, what do we need to know about... This is the angel ancestors, and this is what they expect from you. I'm going to pull three cards from here for you, Scorpio. Autumn. Release the old and rest. Release the old and rest, Scorpio. Put into you. Um, all that love and understanding that you gave to someone else and if they humiliated you or they discarded you or there was a lack of, put it back into you. Put it back into you um, and, and release. Just release and know that there is something better. There is something better and it is on its way. It is on its way. Earth Guardian is saying stay rooted and grounded. What else do we need to know? I love it. The sun card. Enjoy success and happiness, Scorpio. There is going to be a lot of joy coming in for you. Because this is the medicine mother. I've never had her before. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. This is about knowing. You know, you know, Scorpio, you know, at the end of the day, you can't go back to certain situations. People can change, yes, but they need to do that by themselves. This world is all about free will. If you do not learn to understand free will, Scorpio, everything's going to crash and burn. So when you begin to go into that notion of free will, free will, let that person or let the situation unfold the way it should. And then, trust me, you're going to be able to see how God influences, okay? And sends the devil himself to protect you. <laughs>